Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody contacted me via email, wanted to know how they could create something like this. They just kind of described it for, to me. They wanted to cut out holes where they could put a bolt in different intervals and then still have some spin ratio where they could turn the disc. This is really easy and kind of kind of unique and fun to do. Let's just put take this one out of the whoop. I've ungrouped them. Let's move this out of the way. Let's just create an oval and let's say we want to make it 20 inches. So my well, let me before I do that, let me lock my ratio and then put 20 and it'll put both of them in there. I'm gonna hit P. Center of the page, it doesn't really matter. But then go to Windows and Dockers and Properties. And let's make it a little bit thicker. Let's make it a, so we can just kind of see it. Let's make it a four points. And then let's go right here, which is the line style settings. And let's pick a dot. Let's see how that looks. That's pretty unique little, let's try to, get a little bit longer strokes. There we go. Now, if you notice right off the bat, it's not equal. They're not spaced out right here where they join. So if you go, if you click on it and go right here to fix dashes, and now they're all equally spaced apart, and then go right here and put round end caps. Now you have a bunch of little ovals. Now, if we select that and go to object and convert the outline to an object. It takes my old laptop just a little bit of time to do it. And as soon as it gets through thinking about it, because it's a lot of dashes, you can left click, right click, and then you have, and they are in hairline, so they would cut. Now, if you needed them thicker, you would just, you know, make them more points. Uh, I think we're already, we've, we can't do that now because we've already created an object. But what is cool about this is if you need a particular amount of dashes, we can go to object group and go to object group. Okay, break curve apart. Now we have individual ones. Let's select it all and right down here, we've got 162 dashes. So stay tuned to part two of this series, and I'm going to show you how, if you needed just a particular amount of dashes around this, we could completely change it. I hope that helped. Thank you for watching.